Hello everyone, let us discuss about the new IC3-10CM coding guidelines for chapter 1 and these guidelines will be effective from 1st October 2023 to September 2024. Now coming to the overall changes in the chapter 1, the changes took place mainly in two topics. One is sepsis and the next is COVID infection. In sepsis, there is a revision in the sepsis due to post-procedural infection and in COVID infection, there is a revision in screening of COVID infection. First of all, coming to changes in the sepsis. Previously, for infection following a procedure, you need to code a code from T81.40, this is further expandable, to T81.43 for the infection following the procedure. And the change that took place in 2024 is for sepsis following a post-procedural wound. If the physician documents post-procedural wound, this word was not present in 2023. Simply, they have mentioned for infections following procedure. In 2024, for sepsis following a post-procedural wound, that is infection at the surgical site, a quote from T81.412, T81.43 should be given. Previously, it was T81.40. Now, T81.40 is omitted. So, T81.412, T81.43 must be coded for sepsis following a post-procedural infection. Now, let us see an example for better understanding. Now, let us see an example. A patient presents with fever, chills, elevated WBC and tachycardia with obvious left leg cellulitis due to previous removal of salpingus vein for CABG. Here, this is a post-surgical site wound. Left leg cellulitis at the site of injury. This had been an issue for several days and was extremely red and swollen. The patient was admitted to rule out sepsis and to begin IV antibiotics. The cultures of the draining left leg and blood cultures were sent to laboratory for testing. This did show MRSA. MRSA infection has been confirmed and the documentation does support the sepsis was ruled in. Sepsis was confirmed and sepsis was due to MRSA. And after six days of antibiotics, IV antibiotics, the patient is ready for discharge. The discharge diagnosis is MRSA left leg superficial skin cellulitis due to previous surgery developing MRSA sepsis. So what are the appropriate codes? The first code must be from the category T81.41, T81.41XA. Infection following a procedure, superficial incisional surgical site initial encounter. Followed by, whenever we are coding sepsis for post-procedural wound, an additional code from category T81.44 must be coded. Followed by T81.44XA, sepsis following a procedure initial encounter. Then, which type of sepsis? Sepsis due to MRSA. For that, A41.02, sepsis due to MRSA. Then, followed by L. 03.116 cellulitis of lower limb as additional SDX. So these are the appropriate codes for this scenario. For detailed documentation and guidelines for sepsis, you can find the description. And here we are only discussing the 2024 changes. The only change is T81.412. T81.43 was changed. Rest of the documentation is previous, is same as the previous year. Now coming to the changes in coronavirus infections 2024. What are the major changes? In 2023, for screening for COVID-19, during the COVID-19 pandemic, a screening code is generally not appropriate. Though screening code was there for COVID-19 screening, we did not code Z11.52 for screening of COVID-19. That was until 2023. From October 2023, the change is 
screening for covid 19 for screening for covid 19 including the pre operative testing assigned for z11.52 from now onwards that is from october 2023 we can code z11.52 for screening of covid 19 let us say an example a patient presents for pre operative covid screening so the correct code is z11.52 previously we did not code this z11.52 from from october 2023 we can code z11.52 for screening for pre operative covid screening also that is the major change in the coronavirus infections thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training